हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल होप दैट यू आर हैविंग एन अमेजिंग डे आई एम मोहम्मद नईम अमीन भट्टी एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द वे ऑफ द वर्ल्ड रिटन बाय विलियम कॉन्ग्रेव वी विल डिस्कस इट्स इंट्रोडक्शन कैरेक्टर एनालिसिस समरी एंड थीम ओके लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द इंट्रोडक्शन द फुल टाइटल ऑफ दिस ड्रामा इज़ द वे ऑफ द वर्ल्ड इट वॉज रिटन लाइकली टू बी इन लेट सिक्सटीन नाइन्टी or early 1700 it was written in london and uh, it was published in march 1700 and the literary period is the uh, restoration period and if we talk about the genre of literature it is the restoration comedy or we may say that it is actually the comedy of manner the settings has been taken place at london and uh, most of the play takes place uh, in lady wishford's house which is also called the chocolate house in this drama the climax is act 5 scene 1 when wishford uh, finally learns about the mirabel's plot and the fable is helping him and that sir roland is a sham the antagonist is fenel and uh, we talk about the historical context of uh, the way of the world is that uh, the scholars at the time of uh, restoration era who restored the uh theaters and uh, they started and reopened the theaters again and uh, once again the monarchy was restored in uh, united Com- kingdom so it's all about uh, uh, that scenario which take place uh, at that time in s- after 1660 the brief biography of william congreve we have studied in our previous lecture if you uh, want to see this lecture the link is given in the description below and you can get the enough information about the writer so talking about the character analysis the very first character is the mirabel is the protagonist very clever person his full name is edward mirabel a fashionable intellectual and uh, clever man and uh, he was mrs fenel's lover before uh, her marriage the name of uh, mrs uh, fenel is arabella Uh, so the fenel and has broken his affair share uh, of hers usually unintentionally by not returning the sentiments of the every woman who fancies him now he is in love with the cousin of uh, arabella or mrs fenel she is the millament and he is ready to develop a mature and uh, monogamous uh, relationship with her actually it's the game of money and uh, 6000 uh, pounds are uh, uh, under the capacity of mrs wishford so he want to gain those uh, 6000 uh, pounds though he wants to get married he finds himself on the bad side quite number of other characters who uh, concoct plan of their own uh, to ruin the chances uh, at doing so the people are lady wishford mr fenel mrs marwood uh, but he has uh, a servant mr waitwell his servant uh, and uh, foible is basically uh, wife of his servant so foible is uh, uh, working in lady wishford's house so she gives the all the news about uh, uh, the house the chocolate house uh, arabella fenel is also in the team of uh, mirabel or he is quite generous towards these allies and uh, helps each other of uh, tough scraps uh, often by using the combination of the capital and cunning if we talk about fenel the fenel is the antagonist uh, of uh, this play and he is sneaky insecure and uh, traitorous uh, person and he is not so good uh, uh, having in reputation in the town uh, at least he is not uh, in uh, such a number of affairs but he, he has only one affair with uh, uh, mrs marwood and uh, he has basically the negative qualities that M- mirabel doesn't have so actually this is an ironic statement that uh, often we consider a good person as a bad one and a bad person as a good one so he is a second husband of lady wishford's daughter miss arabella fenel and uh, a captain he hates uh, his rich wife and is having an affair with his wife's friend uh, mrs marwood and uh, basically he is uh, jealous with the mirabel and fenel believes correctly that marwood loves mirabel and is unable to hide his anger once he even lashes out at his uh, uh, 
lover with almost reveals uh, their affairs to be the friends however he curbs uh, uh, his temper and expands more energy into reigning mirabel but Uh, Fenel hides his dislike of uh, his wife, but many people around him suspect that uh, their marriage is a sham, and that he is having an affair with Marwood. Mirabel is uh, one such doubter, and uh, by the end of the play, uh, when it's clear that Mirabel has trumped, Fenel unleashes all his rage on his wife, uh, threatening her with the physical harm. Mrs Marwood is Fenel's lover and uh, Lady Wishford's best friend and Marwood is a cunning and manipulative lady and she is also in love with the Mirabel she is actually double crossing and making each and every one in particular she advises Milamen to stop pretending to be interested in other men and Witwoud to acknowledge his step brother willful rather than to treat him like a stranger If we talk about Mrs Arabella Fennell she is known as Mrs Fennell and through much of the play Arabella Fennell is Lady Wishford's daughter and Millamant Witwoud and Sir Wilful's cousin so she is basically in love was in love with the Mirabel also and now uh, she is the wife of Fennell and Mrs Fennell esteem Mirabel in the same way and still seems to have feelings for him However, she never reveals that she still loves to Mirabel and doesn't ruin his plans, though she does encourage Sir Wilful to propose to her cousin Millamant and is noticeably less patient uh, with the Millamant as the play develops and the scenes go on. Mrs Fennell hates her husband immediately and immensely but doesn't learn about his affairs until Fievel really reveals it to her she distrusts Marwood and suspects that she is in love with the Mirabel too if we talk about lady wishford she is like a hearty woman a wealthy old widow mother of uh, arabella fennel and aunt uh, to the millament witwoud and sir wilful she is a greedy lady we uh, have to uh, assume that and lady wishford is a vain and a silly woman who tries to act younger than she actually is as a result she uh, comes off the quite foolish and annoying persons is uh, like sir roland and she talks to the mirabel and tells him that she will never uh, marry to uh, her uh, niece to uh, mirabel and seeks revenge against him for uh, pretending the flirt with her her hatred is really fueled by her uh, unrequited love and she is the leader of cable night a uh, club which consists of mostly the women who gather at their house and gossip about the different things she uh, also know about the marwood's affair to the fenel at the end of this play and fibel her lady in waiting is actually working for mirabel as uh, matra uh, she is the ch- in charge of uh, arranging her niece marriage and protecting her dowry until she gets married this role of course is threatened by fenel who uh, she later claims is not to be the man she wanted Uh, her daughter to marry okay if we talk about fable she is a servant to lady wishford's chocolate house and uh, she is working for mirabel and uh, she is a part of his plans if we talk about millament she is basically the heroine of th- this drama and she is a spoiled lady by mirabel beautiful and rich millament could have any man she wants and uh, knows it too she is very fashionable and popular in london though she can uh, seem cruel and uncaring toward mirabel she does love him uh, but is very at very guarded and uh, she play with her his emotions she give her time to witwoud and petulant to make a jealousy factor with the mirabel but uh, at the end of the play she is convinced that mirabel is actually a lover to her and she uh, helps mirabel's plan to get the 6000 pound from lady wishford in all the things and doesn't initially offer much resistance to her aunt's proposition to marry uh, her off to the first sir roland and then to her cousin sir wilful in order to thwart the mirabel 
when she does agree to marry mirabel she sets multiple conditions to assert her continued independence within the marriage which mirabel after setting some of the condition of his own readily accepts if we talk about sir wilful witwoud uh, he is basically lady wishfort's 40 years old nephew and he loves uh, uh, to travel and uh, he wanna go to france he spends his time with lady wishfort milavan witwoud petulant and mirabel also he is actually a talkative person by end of the play he has made friends with the witwoud and petulant and agree to be his travel companions to the france witwell is the servant of mr mirabel and uh, he is the husband of foible and both of them uh, i mean to say that uh, witwell and uh, foible are working for the mirabel's plans if we talk about witwoud he is uh, petulant's best friend and lady wishfort's nephew he is also a fop a fool person who used to be here and there in each and every situation and he is also a talkative person and he recognizes fenel and he stops fenel to do physical harm with his uh, wife petulant is also a fop and a foolish person and he also have a, a talkative uh, nature and uh, he likes to start arguments over the trivial matters and usually has no real substantive points to make and hardly is responsible he can only be relied on the uh, on to pick the arguments and follow the mirabel's orders is we talk about the minor characters the minor character is sir roland waitwell's alter ego and concocted by mirabel in his plans blackmailed by wishfort in allowing him to uh, marry milament menacing is uh, milament's loyal servant and she testifies against the marwood about her affair with the fenel betty is the chocolate house waitress now we move towards the plot summary of this play <coughs> the play starts and uh, before the start of the play there are number of happening that has taken place uh, before uh, the play started before the play begins a number of important events have taken place in the lives of the main characters uh, which congreve reveals throughout the play arabella's first husband languish has died and left her his fortune she begins a secret affair with the edward mirabel they end this affair and she gets married to the man mirabel has selected fenel this is also an ironic statement because mirabel is afraid that they will conceive a child out of the wedlock kangreve never had explain why mirabel is just doesn't marry her uh, himself mirabel and uh, mrs arabella fenel remains good friends after the affair ends mirabel begins uh, courting mrs fenel's cousin milament who li- lives with the milament's aunt and mrs fenel's mother lady wishfort to gain wishfort's favor for his marriage to milament mirabel flatters wishfort and lavishes much of the attention on her wishfort becomes convinced that uh, he loves her and uh, falls for him however after wishfort's best friend mrs marwood reveals that Uh, what mirabel uh, was up to her feelings for the mirabel change from love to hate now she will not grant her permission for mirabel to marry milament an important problem because she controls milament's 6000 uh, pounds dowry so uh, that's why the night before the first scene of the uh, play and uh, the first time mirabel has gone back to the wishford's house since she found out his plan wishford un uh, ceremoniously dismisses the mirabel from her cable night club front of the milament and uh, who doesn't stand up for him and a number of other people un discouraged mirabel has uh, already begun hatching a plan to uh, coerce uh, wishfords into accepting the marriage a plan that milament learns all about through the foible who is foible the wife of uh, uh, waitwell his servant while all this is going on fenel has been having an affair with his wife and lady wishfords friend 
Mrs. Marwood Mirabel is the only one who suspects that this is going on. Fibel and Menacing have witnessed the affair but uh, have been sworn the secrecy by Marwood. Unfolding in the single day, the play begins in the morning. Mirabel is waiting for uh, word uh, that forward that uh, his servant wait well and wish for servant Fibel have gotten married according to his plan. In the meanwhile, he is playing cards with the enemy. Fenel Mirabel hints that he knows that Fenel and Marwood are having an affair. But he also reveals to Fenel his love for both Milament's strengths and weaknesses of the character. Hearing this, Fenel encourages him to marry her. Later, the two men are joined by Witwoud and Petulant. Mirabel learns from the two that last night Wishford discussed her plan to marry Milament off to his uncle Sir Roland in order to disinherit Mirabel from his uncle's fortune. So actually this is the game of the money. We do not yet know that Sir Roland isn't a real person and that this is all actually part of Mirabel's plan. Mirabel's plan is going well until Marwood uh, with while hiding a, a closet overhears Mrs. Fenel and Fiber discussing the Mirabel's entire plan and learns exactly what he is up to. She shares the news with the Fenel and they concoct uh, a plan to ruin the Mirabel and blackmail Wishford. That same afternoon, at Wishford's house, Milament also accepts Mirabel's proposal and rejects the proposal of Sir Wilful, whom Lady Wishford wanted her to marry. Together, Marwood and Fenel begin to uh, counteract Mirabel's plan. They reveal Fibel's betrayal, Sir Roland's true identity, Waitwell to Wishford, and Fenel has Waitwell arrested. Also, he threatens Wishford that unless she surrenders her fortune, including the Millament and Mrs. Fennell's shares, he will reveal Mrs. Fennell's affair with the Mirabel to the town, which would uh, bring a great disgrace to her family. He also demands that Wishford herself agree never to get married unless he permits it. Mrs. Wishford thinks that she has found a loophole in Fenel's plan. When she learns that Milament and Sir Wilful have agreed to get married, however, Fenel is uh, underrated because he can still gain control of Wishford and her wise fortune. All seems lost uh, for Wishford and her family until Mirabel steps in before he offers his help. He has Wishford's promise that she will let him marry Milaments, which she readily does. Now, this is actually a clever side of Mirabel. Then he calls forward first Menacing and Fibel to reveal the affairs between the Fenel and Mrs. Marwood. Wishford is dissatisfied that this is Mirabel's trump card, but Mirabel has uh, one more trick to play. He calls forward Waitwell who brings with him the de deed to all of the Arabella's language property before marrying Fenel. Mirabel and Arabella suspected that Fenel might try to cheat her. So Arabella agreed to sign over her fortune to Mirabel as a precaution. As her trustee, Mirabel still controls her fortune and the legally binding documents, the Sprems and uh, Fennel's claim on his wife's fortune. With the Fennel and Marwood beaten and Mrs. Fennel and Wishford's fortune and rep uh, uh, reputation saved, Sir Wilful releases Milament from the engagement so she can marry to Mirabel and he can continue with his uh, plans to travel. Mirabel returns the deed to Arabella and uh, tells her to use it to control a very upset and vengeful Fenel. So the play ends with uh, this note that the person who is cleverest ever in this uh, drama 
succeeded in uh, this ironic play by William Congreve. If we talk about major themes, the theme of jealousy, deceit and intrigue is there. We can see the wits and fools, we can see the clashes uh, between men and women, we can see the female dependence and independence and the universal theme of love and uh, the theme of money is there. So that's it from today's lecture, till the next lecture it's goodbye from me.